Open Middle Clouds are full private clouds and the servers are 100% dedicated to your deployment. This means all parts of the cloud are under your control and not handling anything but your cloud system, your workloads, and your data. Setting up an Open Metal Cloud takes just a couple minutes. We've signed up already in Open Metal Central. Central is where you can launch your clouds. Note, I did say the plural clouds as we have made it trivial to spin up and down full private clouds. We encourage people to have multiple smaller clouds versus one very large cloud. But let's get this provisioning kicked off. Here we have a choice of either a three server small, standard, or large cluster. As it says here, the small is perfect for small production clouds, testing, or training. The standard can be used for small or large use cases, and the large is our flagship cluster, which is suitable for enterprise level deployments. You can see the daily and the discounted 30 day price. It's billed by the hour for short term use, discounted after seven days of continuous use. You can also get significantly lower monthly costs with one, two, and three year agreements. For this example, I'm going to select the standard option. Let's enter a name and description for this cloud. Next, we need to add in a public key. and indicate a budget limit. This daily budget will prevent additions of hardware that would put this cloud over the budget. Let's just make this $100 for now. On the next step, you would enter your billing details. Usage is billed in arrears every seven days, but for new clouds, we do need to place a hold on the card for the expected seven day bill. For this demonstration, I'm gonna bypass this step. So now I'm gonna uncheck the box to skip pre-warm. This allows Open Metal to deploy clouds almost instantly from a pre-warm cloud that is already available. Now we're ready to deploy the cloud. This is just a short welcome page. Each cloud is organized to have additional team members, get support specific to this cloud, grow and shrink the hardware footprint, and handle billing. For now, let's click on Assets. Here we see that we have some servers and the power button column is already green as the boxes are turned on and booted up. You can see we have inventory IPs and provider IPs already allocated. Each private cloud has its own VLANs and blocks from the hardware side, and further, OpenStack will provide additional networks using VXLAN to keep the various project networks similarly separated. Currently, the system is setting up the highly available network storage that is provided by Ceph. Ceph is using all three of the servers and will have redundant copies of your data on all three servers. Let's switch to the command line now. Here we'll do a Ceph status to see where it is. The install of OpenStack is handled by our automation using open source Cola Ansible. We can take a quick look at it by checking the logs for that deployment. Here you can see the stream of changes being applied. I'm going to log into each server and repeat these steps. Let's pick up our dashboard admin password now. There's my password and no, I'm not blurring that out because a few minutes after this recording, I'll go ahead and destroy this whole cluster. It's really important to note that with open metal, it's trivial to spin up and down private clouds on demand. Public clouds enjoyed the on-demand advantage over private clouds for many years, 
and thus charged a significant premium. The advent of on-demand open source private clouds led by the software and system you're seeing right now changed the playing field. Comparing costs often lead people to disbelief on how much they've been paying, but let's leave that for another video. Some hardware goes faster than others. All of our core servers use high-grade SSDs, and these in particular are Intel Data Center NVMEs. So really fast. Let's go back over to Open Metal Central with our dashboard admin password. There's the Horizon button. Alright, it's dropped us into a project, which is how OpenStack organizes access to the resources in this cloud. As the admin, you can create projects to give out for self-service via a GUI, command line, or API for automation using tools like Terraform, Ansible, and OpenStack's own heat orchestration. Here you see we can now create routers, networks, and apply firewall rules through the security groups. We can create VMs under instances and manage default OSs under images. We can create volumes and manage backups and snapshots of those volumes. You can deploy container clusters using Kubernetes, automate deployment under orchestration. The list goes on as you can see. This cloud is ready for use right now. Of note, now that the cloud is running, you can also just click Add Hardware to trivially add additional servers to your cluster. That brings us to the end of the Open Metal setup process. Thank you for your time and we look forward to helping you launch your first private cloud and to taking your first step in escaping the high cost of the mega clouds.